Good evening, one and all, all of you who are joining us here on Trinity TV. We want to welcome you, especially those of you who are taking the time to view us maybe live on Facebook, and those of you who are listening to us possibly on internet radio. Um, to all our viewers, our listeners, however you are interacting with us, we are extremely happy to be sharing with you this evening. And, and we thank you for giving us the privilege of coming into your home, um, coming into your space, and sharing and talking and chatting with you and sharing ideas. So first up, I would like to welcome you to our nonviolence panel discussion, a series of shows that we've been doing uh, since the beginning of this year to now. Um, we have had eight, so this is the eighth such show, and we have had different topics um, looking at the whole area of coping with the impacts and effects of violence on our lives. And that's the whole theme that we have been running over these uh, last seven shows, and today fits right into that with the sub-theme, non-violence and cultural expression. And we are, we are excited about this show tonight because um, we've been planning this one for a while because this show is right within our wheelhouse. It is showcasing to you work that the nonviolence movement has been up and about and doing in our land. And in this particular area, it is through nonviolence and cultural expression. So welcome, sit back, join us, mm -hmm. tell a friend to watch. You can send us your messages on Facebook um, and they will be transmitted to us. I will be receiving them here. And um, we will, I will interact with you. If you have a question or a comment, you can send it, and I'll be willing to take that and to talk with you through the uh, social media. But also, if at home you want to contribute to the conversation happening in studio, you are more than welcome. We will put up the number at a time in the show a little later on, and then you can call us on the number that you see. So. I would like to begin by just welcoming all those who are on the panel this evening. We have had such great, um, extensive panels, and today, no different. We have a high-powered team <laughs> around this table, um, and one still to join us in a little while. So I would like to begin by um, just acquainting you with uh, the panel to my left. First and foremost, we have Susan Morgan, no stranger, because Susan is from the nonviolence uh, committee and movement. Um, she's part of the team that we sit on that plans and organizes for nonviolence. And she was here on a show earlier on up the workplace. on the workplace. The workplace yeah. So Susan is here to share with us. And then I would like to welcome to her left would be Miss Indira Kalu, mm -hmm. who is here representing one of the schools who took place in our non, who took part, sorry, and placed as a winner in our nonviolence art competition. Mm -hmm. So she will be talking a little about that and I welcome. Mm -hmm. And then we have Mr. Garth Sobers to her left. And he is exactly what we need in the country, <laughs> an active father and parent who is excited about teaching values to his children. His son was involved in the art competition. And he will uh, be chatting with us a little bit today from a parent's perspective. Welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. Very much. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for being here. And um, the treasure <laughs> of our <laughs> panel is yeah. the youth, because the nonviolence art competition, as you'll hear soon, was about young people, for young people, with them, targeting them. And we have one of our very young artists here with us, and her name is Rakisha Peer. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah. Rakesia Pear, yes. I was sure from a uh, long before I was going to mess it up, and you helped me. Thank you very much. And she took a nonviolent approach in doing it too. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so welcome very much to the whole panel. Welcome at home. Susan, if you could begin maybe just sure. taking us into a little bit of the background. Help right. us to understand the, you know, the backdrop of this whole nonviolence art competition and just talk to the people and right. share with us you know good evening everybody and we're here tonight ready to talk about nonviolence begins with me through art because we used art as the forum 
for expression. And we really wanted to hear from our schools what exactly were the children thinking about nonviolence. Because as you may know, we started about a year and a half ago because we were all worried about violence in society and how do we fix that violence in society. And we thought, well, if we don't look at ourselves and deal with it one person at a time, one family at a time, then we wouldn't really identify what the problem is. And as we saw in programs before, if we're not listening, we're giving silent treatment, we're arguing, we all identified that nonviolence was a problem. But people said to us, well, I can't fix myself, you know, I'm grown up and I'm fixed in my habits. Let's hear what the young people were saying. So we were motivated to have an art competition open to all the schools in Trinidad and Tobago, age groups five to eight, 9 to 12 and 13 to 16 years old. And the topics were always non-violence begins with me, but we wanted to look at the home, in the community, through relationships, through environment, and in the schools. And we also wanted to give a prize to the winning school, and that would be the school that really captured non-violence. And that went to the Satya Sai Baba Primary School, the Longdonville Satya yes, Sai, Sai Baba Primary School. Sai Primary school. They gave us 46 entries. Can you believe wow. that? Excellent. 46 entries came in from Excellent. that school. And what Indira will let us know is what that school does every day with nonviolence and how they teach it in the school. And the message we learned from that is that while people think in Trinidad and Tobago nothing is being done and we're hearing stories in the news, what comforted us at this competition is that we were hearing from schools, well, actually, we are doing something. We're trying mm -hmm. to help the youth, and mm -hmm. the youth are trying to understand. And little Isaiah, who's going to come in just now, he will mm -hmm. tell us from his point of view, and Isaiah is six years old. Mm -hmm. He won in his category, and you'll see his art just now. And they were expressing beautiful stories about nonviolence that gave us the hope in the nonviolence committee that we were not going down a road where nothing, where, where it was fruitless. Mm -hmm. We actually understood that in Trinidad and Tobago, people want the change. Maybe it's a little difficult to do the change, but it's, it was reassuring to see that the youth, and look at Lucasia here, as you say, the treasure, mm -hmm. actually want the change. So we thought that yeah. it was a wonderful expression by everybody on the day of So it. would you say, um, Susan, then, that you got, we got a sense from the participants, from the young people, that the message, we, we didn't tell them what to paint. The message came from their hearts. It, it came from their they, hearts, we, exactly. We gave the theme and they expressed the theme in their own way, yeah, in their own exactly. initiative. Yeah. And Kyle, do you know we had 250 entries? I mean, we were that shocked. The war, the, you know, the, we have to give kudos to 101 yeah. Art Gallery. They gave us their art space for mm -hmm. free. And the walls just were filling and filling and filling. And I mean, we sat back thinking, well, nobody really is interested in an art competition in today's yeah. day and age because the youth just want to do this. Mm -hmm. But we were shocked when we got 225 entries, 46, of course, coming yeah, from well, your school, which was wonderful. Mm -hmm. But each one told a story. And then on the prize giving day, when we met the mummies and daddies and the aunties that came, everybody was just so enthusiastic and so supportive of the youth. It gave us a, a real thrill. To, to know and, that we're moving forward. And we just want to put it out there. Susan and I were not judges. No. We don't know any. I love art, I enjoy it, but we don't know, that, we, no. we don't know that much about art, no. right? No. But we're saying that so nobody thinks it knows yes, that it's just the committee sat down and what we liked. Yes. There were professional Pro judges, professional adjudicators, judge. That's right. so who we, are professional artists. Exactly. So we ha well, we had three judges, mm -hmm. one from the actual studio itself that offered 101 Art Gallery. One actually was a lady who has done art for Trinidad and Tobago. Right. So she actually understands the whole concept of what it is to be a, Trin a Trinbagonian. Cultural. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then one, we thought, well, let's use a professional person so mm -hmm. that he would be able to give a, a different view on the whole nonviolence thing. So it was balanced. There were men and women there, so mm -hmm. it wasn't a, we were gender appropriate. Mm -hmm. And it was just wonderful. And the whole oh, evening, great. and we think it was an enjoyable prize giving evening, was it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes, we did yeah. have a, a prize giving ceremony. We had a prize giving mm -hmm. ceremony. So um, what we would also like to share is that the Nonviolence Begins With Me movement is not Catholic, Christian dominated. I mean, here we have the Satya Sai Primary School winning. 
We have Takariko Presbyterian in Isaiah Sobers who won. And then we have Rukisia from St. Joseph Convent, St. Joseph. We had the Holistic School. I had never heard about the Holistic School before. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of work with special children. So they won the first prize in the 9 to 12 age group. Mm -hmm. And we had um, representatives from the Muslim faith as well coming out from your school. Yeah. So we have a, a whole gamut of people mm -hmm. showing that all religions mm -hmm. are pressing forward on this nonviolence message mm -hmm. and it's coming out in the art. Well, so, we, we ought to be proud and I'm sure yes. everybody at home in Trinidad and Tobago out there, I'm sure that you are very proud to hear that our young people rose up to the challenge and this wasn't no oh, nonviolence and it's it's I think two hundred and something applications yeah. and submissions yeah. is a yeah. lot. Yeah. And that says that we have a, a whole lot of young people out there who yeah, sometimes you know people we, we, we talk about young people, mm -hmm. you would hear things bandied about that are negative. But look at how much positivity is That's there. And yeah. I am so happy that we have we get the opportunity in nonviolence to focus on the positive. Yes to put it out there mm -hmm. and to tell people there is positive happening. Yeah. So on that note, I want to um, uh, invite a, a positive force of energy. <laughs> He's acquired the young man, I met him before the show, but um, we have one of the children here from um, the competition which Susan has been um, uh, alluding to. Um, it's Mr. Sobers' uh, son. He's in studio with us yeah. today. And I want to welcome, yes, welcome him. Such a brave young man. Um, and um, he's going to come a little more, I think, this to way come. towards daddy. Yeah. Nice. And he's in studio for the first time. So, you know, bright lights, you know, so, but he's brave. Um, good day and welcome to you, Isaiah. Welcome. Well, when I did the painting, I, I draw um, people with markers. Yes. And I, I color the um the people with with color with watercolor pencils and I use water. Oh nice. And why did you put the hearts and the birds and stuff? Because I had it to 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 make it nicer. Oh nice. And what about the families? It's about non violence and kindness. Okay. So would you point, let the camera see you pointing, and could you go stand next to your painting a little bit, your drawing for me, your artwork, and could you point to it? And this is nice. This is a, he's reaching up as tall as he could. But, so this is his painting, people. I think you would be having an image of that now on, um, on the screen. Thank you very much for pointing it out for us, Isaiah. And as you look at that, um, could you tell me, Isaiah, who are the people in this painting? Who are they? Indian. They are Indian people, people of a local. Come a little more this way now. <laughs> right. So from our local Indian people, a nice cultural setting. And tell me, is this a family or friends at school? Who's represented here? It's a family. A family. Very good. And what were you trying to tell us about this family? It's about kindness, loving, joy, peaceful, patient, kindness. Wow. Um, say, say it again yeah. one more time, because the mic is now. Yeah. Joy, peaceful, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Nice. Let us, let's applaud that. <laughs> values. And I'm sure these are values that you get from at home, yes? From your own home. And you wanted to share that with Trinidad and Tobago. How did you feel to, when you heard you won a prize? That the first your, prize. The first, first prize, prize that your artwork won a prize. How did you feel about that? Happy. You were happy. <laughs> and did you celebrate? Mm -mm. Not yet? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to have a celebration, Daddy. Yes, we Daddy. Yes, we yes. I thought we did, though. Eh? Yes. He had the choice of either taking the, what he, his prize and putting it in the bank account or doing something with it. And uh, he, chose the bank. he chose the bank account. account. He chose so the bank he is. Um, delaying the celebration and uh, for another time something exactly. he's looking forward he's thinking he um, wants to have his cake and eat it too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well Isaiah thank you very much and we want to encourage you to continue on this journey of 
helping people to understand that we need love, kindness, patience, self-control if we are to live with each other. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right, so thank you again. You see, this is um, live here. We have good talent, good artistic skill, and look at how wonderful. For me, I mean, as I said, I'm not a, a, a professional, but the amazing use of color um, stands out to me. And even the imagery through his eyes, you know, you could see such a difference in yeah. the impressions, you know, of a <laughs> child's eye than how an adult would tell it, you know. Yeah. So we are, we, 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 we are very happy and grateful to God and to him for that. Yeah, and I think when he gave his talk at the actual prize giving, he said that it was to show loving and yeah. he felt that loving was important. And in Trinidad and Tobago, we have to learn to love each other again. That's right. So therefore, that message coming out about love actually followed what we wanted to share yes. through nonviolence, that we have to love each other. No matter mm -hmm. what we look like, no matter what we see, we might say something horrible, yeah. but step back and let's try to start loving one another yeah. again. So yes. that's what that painting, yeah. his theme was loving. Yes. In that painting. Yes. So. And I, what I love is the fact family. that he gave yes. the family. The family, He yeah. placed nonviolence in the context mm. of family. That's right. His impressions there to me, you know. Mm. And then listening to him today, I feel it's very important that he was able to give language to the values mm. of nonviolence. That's right. Because people ask us all the time, what does it mean to live nonviolence? How People ask us that all yeah. the time. Yeah. What does it mean? But here's a little, a six-year-old yeah. telling us, this is what it means. And he feels very strongly about it, too. Eh? Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he's always running to somebody's defense. He's always standing up and saying what is right and what is wrong, even at his age. Wow. Wow. Right? So it's just an expression of what he feels. He Already. That, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. amazing. And I don't think this is his only work of art, right, Daddy? I think he mm -hmm. produces. No, what? he has one other competition, too. Yes, so he's, he's been doing this for, his mom is a qualified artist, so she's been training oh. him since oh, he was yes. young. Right. 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 Nice, yeah. nice, so, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Our yes. future prime minister and a future artist. Yes. <laughs> so we're good to go. Susan is now <laughs> sending prophecies your way. <laughs> Hopefully by then he will be prime ministering a non a more non-violent non society. society. Yes, yes we okay. hope so. Okay. So I want to bring um Miss uh, Indira Kalu in on the conversation now. I mean um your presence here, um you are here representing not one, not two, not three, but forty-six entries into the competition mm -hmm. in the sense that you, you are a teacher there and your school provided these entries. Could you tell us a little bit? To me, that is no simple feat. It says to me that it was more than a competition for you all and that you were invested in this probably even before the competition or so. Could you tell us a little bit about the Longdonville um, Satya Sai Baba School and what happens in the arena of nonviolence there? First, I'd like to thank Living Waters community for giving us this opportunity to take part in the competition. It was our first competition. Mm -hmm. Well, at University of Science School, we, we, non-violence is not separated. It's, we teach the five human values, which was given by our founder, but once we set aside Baba. So in all the values where we have love is the, on the current of all the values and non-violence communicates all the values together. So here you have truth, right conduct, peace, love, and non-violence. Mm -hmm. Shall I just so, hold it up so people could see? I can hold it here, right there. So this, this also is our logo. It's on its children uniform okay. and all that. So they're reminded of, of non-violence every day. Everything we do, we teach, everything has the five human values. So on the logo, on the student's uniform, the word non-violence is there. Yes. So, so it's a part of the culture of, already that you, yeah. are, um, that you are progressing in the school and teaching and educating. Yes, clear. So we begin our day with you know, the national anthem and the pledge. And then we go into the, the teaching techniques. So we have the, the direct and the indirect um, approach. So the direct approach, we'll have like silent sitting, doing a story, singing, using a quotation of the day a story that would bring out, you know, morals and values and, you know, we have the children interaction in it and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. And then the indirect approach would be 
the, the curricula that deals with the curriculum itself and you know, how we infuse the human values into the curriculum. Mm -hmm. And you know, by that the children are able to, you know, respond better in everything that they do. And then there's the other indirect approach which is called a co-curricular, like when we go out for sports and field trips and all those things where, you know, they're able to, to show cooperation and on um, community um, work and all that, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's mm -hmm. a combination of everything together that you, on one aspect of the human value. Oh, so we have the sub-values together with the human value. So for each value, there's a sub, there are sub a list of sub-values. Mm -hmm. And in non-violence, one of the sub-values is good manners. So you start, you know, which is so <laughs> luck in these days, yes. you know. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. So, but the good manner is respect, respect for cultures, yeah. respect for nature, yeah. you know. So we, we are well um, yeah. infused with everything that we do. Yeah. Um, I like that point that you make about just good manners. It's, it's a simple thing, but it's so important yeah. to the whole thing of yes. nonviolence. Yeah. And so much of our society um, grew up with that as part of our yeah. our formation yes, at a yes. certain point and in some ways it's communities departed. have departed yeah. from that yeah. you know i i always think of um um you as you said that immediately what came to my mind is the song by tree canal good morning neighbor yeah, good morning day. neighbor yeah. morning yeah. you know yeah. it, it is talking about the fact that if we just start like that by saying good morning you know um to the other then we see the other as a person, mm -hmm. and we see them as worthy of being treated with exactly. a certain amount of respect and dignity right. and so, you know. And the person receiving the good morning yeah. feels good as well. Mm -hmm. Certainly when I walk down into town and somebody walks past me unexpected and says, good morning, I, I always yes. jump. You still kind of jump now. Right? <laughs> <That's Yes. laughs> jump, one shot. Yeah, but it makes me yes. feel good. Yeah. So I think if I just, I feel good, then if I say it to somebody else, I also hope that they feel good as well. You know? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. But what has happened too, um, I think the, 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 the sort of values around parents and neighbors mm -hmm. and so forth has kind of departed because you would see young kids today and, and you're almost, should I say something to him or should I not say something to him? Yes. Because mm -hmm. you don't know if he's the one that's going to turn on you or he's not going to turn on you. Yes. So yeah. the lines are so blurred now yes. that it's no longer clearly defined, okay, this is my neighbor and I can be yeah. just as open and friendly to this neighbor. Yes. Because you have seen kids growing up in communities mm -hmm. and I, you would assume they come from good families and yeah. these are the kids that are committing some of the crimes out there. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what's happening in the environment have also shaped how we feel about good manners and, mm -hmm. and other yeah. things that yeah. pushes yeah. us into this variety today. Yeah. I think for me, I, even as I said, I have made a personal choice that um, um, I, I would live a certain way. Right. So some of that is what we have to encourage people, no matter, and that's what this whole... Um, this whole panel discussion series has been, that's why we called it coping with impacts and effects of violence. Part of the coping is that we have to remain faithful to the message. Right. In other words, you know how they say, we have to remain on message right. with our lives. Mm -hmm. So even when we go out there and we feel that it's daunting, and as you say, the threat of you're not too sure of this person and if they, mm -hmm. how they will react, mm -hmm. I think we have to remain giving the values. We have to remain with the good manners. We have to remain saying, please, thank you. You're welcome. Um, you know, opening doors to people. Sometimes I'm coming in and out of a storm when I, open, I, 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 I stop my pace, open the door for a lady to come in, and I can tell she's, she's shocked. shocked. She's shocked. Yeah. She can't she's believe, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, people have actually told me about it and all, but yeah. the because problems. they're accustomed, I suppose, <laughs> yeah. to yes. people just going their way. But right. I think even if when we think that we might be the minority, I think we have to continue to do it. Right. And I like the idea that the school is inculcating that in the, in the, in the whole school. Now, in terms of the art competition, was it difficult to get entries? Well, you've got 46. But <laughs> you know, it was the, not difficult. So the students, tell us a little yeah. bit about their own desire for doing the competition. But they were all beaming with excitement, you know, because, you know, they love painting, they love art, they love mm -hmm. the color, everything, you mm -hmm. know, as soon as you finish an activity, Miss, can I draw? And they are always drawing and all that. So, you know, when we had entered the competition, we are a very small school, we are a young school. Mm -hmm. We have now started, so it's our first competition. And 
Well, most of the students are like who really, you know, into the art. They did like two pieces, and, and they, it was their idea. They did they, they choose. We told them about the competition, and they, you know, had their mindset. They knew what they were going to do. Nice. So they just, I just set out the paint brushes, give them their cups with the water and all nice. that. All I did was change the water for them, <laughs> <laughs> and they were just there, you know. Yeah. Miss, you like what I'm doing? Yes, you yes. look fine. So, <laughs> what are you doing? This is my my family. I, we are a happy family. This is some like the butterflies, the flowers. So we had different, you know, aspect of it, and you know, they were all really happy and and they were excited to take part in it. Now, on our nonviolence Facebook page, nonviolence begins with me. All the paintings in the art competition are on that page. So if you're interested to see it, oh, our okay. viewing audience, you can mm -hmm. go onto the Facebook page and you'll see the the two hundred and something paintings okay. that were there. Including All two hundred and something are, are on, there. on that oh, page. Well, that's page. excellent. That, yeah, we want that page everybody again, to see. Give us the non violence page. begins with me. It's on the Facebook page. Yes, for yeah. those who would like to really um, see all the images, mm -hmm. it's there. It's there for you to view. To this is it's wonderful to hear mm -hmm. this. Is there one of these paintings here that comes out of your school? Yeah, there's one that that's Varindra's, Varindra Rampasad. Right. And he he had he did four different um, drawings. One is on love, so he's showing you to be kind. The other one is on respect, where you must have respect for your teacher. And here he's giving his teacher a flower. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and respect the other elders and all that. Then the other one is about peace. He. He's a very peaceful child, so he, you know, he talked about patience and, and helpfulness and all that. And he does not like to see fighting or anyone bullying one another, so he, he talks about bullying also. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want anyone to get hurt. Yes. Do not, do not um, tease, I think he says there. Yeah. Do not tease or be hurtful, hurtful to, to others. others. Yeah. Yeah. To others. And so nice. He has these messages in kite forms. Yeah. They are kites, which is, again, a child's perspective on the world, you know? Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I like. So under the kite, the, foot, the football, you know? There's a ball in each one also. And the right. hearts depicting love. Yes. And for yeah. interest, six years old. So let's put this into perspective. Oh, this is these these six two six kids, I see their level of thinking. You exactly, know? are six oh, years my. old. Trinidadian, six years old. Wow. Yes. So, there is a lot of hope, people. <laughs> yes. If you are out there watching, there is a lot of hope. We know you are out there watching. There is a lot of hope. People ask us, you know, does it make any sense? Uh, you know, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Because there are a number of, of young ones. And I think, um, and I should have said, we miss Andy Johnson tonight. Yes. Andy, I don't know if he's able to see us or if he will see this, but he was unavoidably um, not be able to be here tonight. He's usually in this seat. He's the real boss of this panel, so I am just trying to <laughs> do a little a um, secondary <laughs> job here, yeah. yeah. sitting in this place. Yeah. But, but Andy was saying up to last week, he was mentioning, and the last two weeks, the last show, he was saying, you know, um, sometimes he said, I must say that I'm grappling with this thought that it might be possible that our focus really needs to go on the younger generation, right. because he says, in so many ways, it feels like us, uh, he means our, well, our older, you know, his, he was speaking, yeah. you know, the, lost in a yeah, sense. It's so never lost, never you know, lost. but he, he yeah. means that maybe our resources should be on the young. Yes. And today, just looking at this, this yeah. is a, yeah. Yeah. It's a sign yeah. of that. Can, can I add, I, I truly, I'm part of the PTA at one of the schools that I'm at. Yeah. Nice. And um, the violence is in the minority. It's sensationalized. Nice. So it's, Nice. You know, it comes out as the main thing, yeah. but it still is in the minority. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of parents that are dedicated to their children mm -hmm. and teaching mm -hmm. them about nonviolence. And that's where it starts. It starts at home. Mm -hmm. It starts at, you know, train up a child in the right way and he wouldn't depart. I yeah. still believe in that mantra. Yes. So what you do at home makes a big difference to what the outcome is. If you put negative in, you will get negative out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so at my home, I make sure that we start the day with mm -hmm. good music, with prayer, you know, we drive into to school, we talk about what happened yesterday or what's going to happen today. Yeah. So you the have to guide, you know, yeah, the music in the house, the, the video games, these yes. are things that influence negatively because yeah. there's a lot of violence all around us. Yeah. My son is telling me that, Dad, I don't like listening to the news. Yeah. 
because um, there's always this one dying or this one getting killed. Or, yeah. So you have to have something solid at home, mm -hmm. seeing that that is the place where the center of a focus is. Let him leave or let her leave the house with a strong set of values of nonviolence. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's going to propel throughout the course of the day. And they may be mm -hmm. even to influence other kids in the school. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it starts at home. And as a parent, uh, is, is he your only child or there are No, no, I have an older daughter. Okay, yeah. and as a parent of two children right. in, in the society, do you think that it is extremely important today for us to help parents to be able to get this journey of nonviolence going with their own kids, exactly. rather than just focusing it out on schools only or in general. Do you think that there are some initiatives needed towards helping parents to get that message to their kids? Parents today, I mean, it's funny that you would say that. One of the, 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 the motives that we have for the PTA is to help parents. Many of them do not know how to deal with some of the issues that are coming up in their homes. Mm -hmm. And without resources, many of them turn away and allow the kids to find results on their right. own. Mm -hmm. right? So it's very important that you have a forum where parents can get information, that can get help, share ideas. Mm -hmm. share, you, know, you may have a teenager that, that uh, you're going through something with that you can mm -hmm. share with another parent that is actually facing that and you have a solution mm -hmm. for them, mm -hmm. right? So we have an impetus uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 obligation as parents to help each other. Mm -hmm. Now, we, nice. there's not always a forum for that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's to look at programs like this because I'm sure, you know, one or two parents maybe, or a lot of parents may be listening to the show mm -hmm. to get ideas. But it really does start at home. And if you put something positive in, starting at home, something positive most likely will come out. Well said. That's our I mantra. Mean, no, <laughs> well said. Yeah. If you put something positive in, something is going to change and you will get the positive. Oh, so yeah. You see that in the school too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah because we start our day with prayer and we have something called um, light visualization where you put a candle in the middle and it, you take off the lights and the children visualize where the focus learn to keep calm. So you start the day by being calm and focused and, you know, and so this is at primary happy. school level, eh? Yeah. Your kids are primary. Yeah, age. they're five and six year old. Yeah. Praise, Praise be to God. God. But at your, at your school, the prayer is not only such as No, I, we are not. We are very much paid. We start. We have this Hindu, Islamic prayer. The mm -hmm. Christian. Um, the same thing we go with the yeah. songs also. Yeah. And we celebrate every occasion. So we have yeah. blessing of the crash. You have. Easter Bonnet Parade, you have yeah. every, every, you well name it, we have it, we are well rounded, yeah. kite flying, but is, is Father's Day. That, so that to me, hearing yeah, you saying that, that is, um, if you say that nonviolence is a part of your system and part of your values, what one of the things that I think we have been big on here, and I think anybody who's, you read about who's been any kind of nonviolence mm -hmm. leader around the world, from Martin Luther King to Mahatma Gandhi mm -hmm. to Malcolm yes. X, they all had their own particular faith tradition or background, mm -hmm. but always found a certain sense of this commonality yes. of the fact that each faith and each faith belief has some underpinning in their own principles and yes. teachings that lend itself towards nonviolence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that tolerance for the other, for other faiths, and for the person of a faith that is different from mine, that has to be a part of the message of nonviolence, yeah. and so I'm happy to hear and that. That's that yeah, because when we have the sisters from, you know, who came in for, um, from the, India? No, yeah. they came in from the, um, oh gosh, <laughs> but, um, spiritual Baptist Liberation right. Day. Yeah, right. the sisters from Maracas came in, and right. you know they came, they sat with the children in a circle and interacted with them, and they sang songs because. The children are quite familiar with all of the Christian songs and yes, all that, and yeah. they saying, you know, Jesus yeah. loves me, this I know. And they, yeah. were, they felt so happy and home, yeah. at home, you know, yeah, and the children were singing for them, you know. We had someone from the Muslim faith came in for Eid, and the ch children sang the Casida, and they were ama the guy was amazed how well, you know, that they sang it, you know. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. And that that's one of them. We teach them about argument. everything. Yeah. So even when we have a visitor that comes in for all these occasions, they, they, they're able to interact well with them. Mm -hmm. They can answer questions. It's, mm -hmm. 
hugs and all that, you know. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah. But to you at home, I know you're watching, you're probably very excited and interested in the conversation going on, and I'm sure many of you are getting into it and making your own comments, thoughts, and you're probably very inspired by what you are looking at today. We want to thank you for joining us and on Trinity and for being here and welcome those who maybe have just come on, maybe recently. This is our nonviolence panel discussion, and we're talking today on the sub-theme of nonviolence and cultural expression. This whole idea of bringing nonviolence to the cultural arena through artistic expression. Um, earlier on, we had a little briefing from Susan here that we started with a nonviolence competition this year for schools, um, which I'm say, hoping it will continue yes, every yeah. year. Mm. And um, it, it brought 200 and something entries from across the country, different faiths, different schools, different kids, different age groups. And we're just showing some of the art here in studio and talking about uh, the different uh, projects and so. But I want to invite you in on the conversation. At home, you might be looking and you are, or you might be looking on Facebook. You can make a comment or send a question or something you want to say on the Facebook page and we will receive it right here. We would respond and interact with you through social media. But also there's a number coming up on your screen now and you can be free and feel free and we welcome you to call and to give any comments or input or questions that you may have as you are looking. At this time, I want to take the opportunity to bring our fourth panelist, as I said, the gem of the table today, um, in um, to, to the conversation. I want to ask you to just tell people that at home about your own experience of getting involved in this art competition. How did you come to hear of it? Uh, how do you, you know, come to get involved? And maybe is your piece here today? Yeah. Show us your piece and talk to us a little bit about it. Well, I don't know if they could see it. Could yes, see the it? camera is going to show us. Well, my art teacher, she told me about this competition. At first, I would not lie. I was like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. Like, I am sure not many people are going to join this because these days, Nobody has time to study about nonviolence because mm. everybody for themselves. Mm. That's how society is mm. now. So I say, well, okay, I'll try. I say, <laughs> I'll I'll be the different one. I'll be the, I'll make a difference. Amen. I say, all right, mm. I'll do it. Mm. So my depiction on nonviolence is that people could be suffering and you don't even know. You mm -hmm. don't even know what people are going through. Mm -hmm. You could pass somebody today and they're acting so mm -hmm. weird with you. Mm -hmm. But you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what happened this morning to them. And this is why we must always be kind to mm -hmm. others because we don't know if that is the, la the straw that breaks the camel's right. back to drive somebody over the edge. So as you can mm -hmm. see there, that door, well, the man is behind the door, right? And if you realize he's drowning in his emotions, his depression, his sadness, everything. But like we could be the bucket <laughs> that pick it up all the water. So we, family, friends, and this lady, we, she has these bandages on her mouth, but like, it's all about us. That's all I'm trying to get at, is about mm -hmm. us. We have to help others. Some people cannot do it on their own. Some people looking for that little person to be the light in their life. So whenever we come across somebody, we must put our all into interacting with someone. You mustn't be like, well, okay, that's just another person. Mm -hmm. I don't care about you. We're supposed to have a caring spirit because God cares and he's teaching us that we must care also. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's it. Well, what's the name of your piece? What did you call it? I didn't think I You called it, it any... if I could say, if you don't mind, yeah. lend a hand to those oh. who have no voice. That's what mm -hmm. you... I know you do a lot of work, so, but <laughs> yeah. which was powerful to us because just mm -hmm. listening to lend, which is what you're saying, lend a hand to those who have no voice. My theme was kind of on abuse 
because that comes if you see yeah. this yeah. other boy's own, it was on love. My own was on abuse because that is something that goes on very often and we don't know. And that is very sad because that is not good. And I want people to realize and come out of the shell that you hear your neighbor beating your child, their child, you stay in your house. You need to go and make it your business. In Trinidad, we just say every man to himself. That's mm -hmm. our motto. That is mm -hmm. our motto. Every mm -hmm. man to himself. If that's your child, that's your problem. Look, he's saying, when we see somebody child, we don't know if to correct them or not. That should not be so. We as adults, well, you all as adults, yeah. supposed to be able to correct the youths. Me, if, well, if you see me doing something wrong, you're supposed to have the authority to come and say, well, if you say you're doing something wrong, you all have that authority. But people these days, not really like that. So we need to start. I don't know how this is a very good start. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm thankful for this program. <laughs> Thank you very much. And <laughs> what prize, what you are, what prize winner in the... The first prize. You were the first prize winner. I was so shocked. <laughs> <laughs> in what category were you in? Um, 13 to 16. 13 to 16. Yeah. And you're a student of St. Joseph Convent, Port of Spain? No, St. Joseph. St. Joseph. Yeah. Okay, they want to make sure that yeah. that is... <laughs> yeah. 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 St. Joseph Convent, St. Joseph. Mm -hmm. um, and do you feel like you have an opportunity in your school to share this mess kind of message. Yes, I do. Yes? Yeah. Yes. And did the school has the school seen your piece? Have they I'm not sure. Yes. I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe it's a good idea for that yeah. too for the school yeah. to have an assembly where this yeah. is shown off. What I what I would add though, Kyle, is that St. Joseph Conference, St. Joseph has a very powerful art teacher. We had invited her, Mrs. Bihari. Oh. And in this age group, St. Joseph Conference, St. Joseph won first, second, third, and special prize. So mm -hmm. Yes, we have a call. Good evening, caller. Yes, good evening. Good evening to the panel. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello? Good evening. Hi, good yes, evening. we're hearing you clearly. Go ahead, speak to yes, us. Um, what the young lady just said there about, you know, you see some, a child doing something wrong in the road and you're supposed to correct them. But what you have to understand is these days, par parents do like that because they come in to beat you, <laughs> you know. And it's, 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 it's not an easy thing as that young lady there is thinking. But you're all running a nice show. I love it. And I'm listening. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Mm -hmm. I would like to reply to him. I know it is not easy, but we should try. Or at least talk to the parents. Talk to the, the main problem. Children don't get on like that just so. They have yeah. to be Being influenced something. by something. Yeah, you wouldn't just be hitting up people in the road. Well, oh gosh, I just... You wouldn't be yeah. violent. Just like that. We are not born violent. Yes. Violent. People say we're born with sin. Yes, that is true. But it's our choice. Yeah. It's our choice. Yeah, I agree with that. And I think, mm -hmm. I mean, it is a catch-22. Yeah. It is, yeah. we, we don't want to put out at all. None of us think, even in our journey, it is yes. truly that we've gotten a lot of this. It's, a, it's a, a conflict all the time in the conversation. But what I want to say is that I think it is about choosing wisely to judge in each moment what is appropriate right. and also what is acceptable in the moment. And I think if we put out, if we begin with a non-violent way, very often it, it will be, what we find is that most times it will bring back the result yes. Yes. of a non-violent response. We have another caller. Good evening, caller. Caller, good evening. Welcome. Oh, we may have lost that one. Yeah. So I think that's important too because sometimes mm -hmm. we might want to correct somebody, but we also have to try to do it in a way that doesn't put them down, yeah. does not that's demean true. them. Yeah. So right. even if we have to, we have to correct in a non-violent way. I, I love what, uh, what um, Dr. Lennox Bernard said something in a session we had on this kind of thing before once, and he said something that really struck me. He said sometimes 
you know, when you're not sure how what you're going to say as an older person to a young person like on the street or so, how it will be received, he says, pose a question. Wow. Ask yeah. a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's seeking to understand yeah. rather than to be understood, yeah. and which is part of our nonviolent prayer. Yeah. So what he's saying is, instead of, you, you, you know, you're not supposed to be doing that. You, you're not supposed to do that. That's wrong. You say, what you're doing there, do you think that that is a good thing? Yeah. Do you think that is helpful? Or have you thought about the person's feelings who you are cursing like that? Yeah. So he's saying, put a question because it's, it's a softer approach yeah. sometimes yeah. to the yeah. communication yeah. than just saying you're wrong. And you you're know? not being judgmental. Yes. yes. So a lot of times, you know, as yes. Trinidadians, we like to pass a lot of opinions about things, but yes, not yeah. necessarily yeah. look inside. And yes, our yeah. message is, let's look in here, see what's going on here, yeah. before saying, hey, but Kyle, do so-and-so, yeah, you know, yeah. Susan, what do I you I think we have the caller might be back with us. Good evening, caller. Yes, listen, I'm not back. I'm another caller. Okay, yes. welcome. <laughs> welcome, all the same. We're happy to have you. Hello. Yes, I'm, I'm, you're, uh, uh, it's very interesting. I'm going back to the young lady who said uh, the adults should correct the children. Mm -hmm. And I agree with her totally. I am 80 years of age. And I remember when I was small, your neighbor see you doing something wrong. I got, I part to that experience. And they won't only correct you, they will also spank you, <laughs> beat you. I got a licking from my neighbor. And I'm praying that my mother don't find out. Because <laughs> if my mother finds out, I'm going to get another lick. Yes. I was walking in the, sh in the canal of water. She yes. called me, aren't you so and so daughter? Yes. And you're walking in that canal, and I got a licking. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping and praying that my mother doesn't find out. Because I'll get another licking. That is in those days. You cannot do that today. Because as the gentleman who called before me said, the parents do not allow you to do that today. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't hit my child. And don't hit my child. Why you hit my child? And that is why we, we have so many bandits about the street. Because you cannot correct your children mm -hmm. freely anymore. Honey, those parents will come and they will beat you up. Mm -hmm. In my time, as I told you, I'm 80, I born 1938. So I'm 80 years now. Pass through that. But you can't do it anymore. Thanks for listening to me. You're Bye. welcome, and thank you for calling. Thank you, my dear. As you were saying, that says, you know, it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. Mm. So now you're not seeing the village raising the child. Yes, mm. and when the village is absent, mm. the, the, you know, the Calypsonians told us that for many years, the child becomes turned in on mm. the village now. Right. So the village has to realize that, that the, you can't stay away, you have to step in, and she's right. You have to try. She's, yeah. That's, it's, yeah. Yeah. she's very yeah. right. You, you, you made a point just now in relation to we have to know and assess situations. Yeah. Sometimes we see a situation and we want to correct it right away. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you an example. Uh, I had a situation with a, one of my neighbors. Um, there was domestic abuse going on. And I, and I got upset at him and I want to help the situation. But what I decided to do is not approach it at that point. Yeah. You know, we, I, I called him out and acknowledged what's going on. But afterwards, I, when everything has simmered down, a couple of days later, he and I started talking mm -hmm. to help him understand like, and, mm -hmm. and try and find some solution for him. Because I am sure he's not, he was not happy with the way things were going. Mm -hmm. I'm saying that to say that we have to be able to look at situations and not try to find results the same way we would have done it back in my mother's days or my grandmother's yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. We have to look at the situation today and assess how a parent is with the child. Uh, because we live in an environment of violence. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want somebody to be hitting my child on yeah. the streets either. Mm -hmm. But if you come up to me and you say, you know, Garth, I saw your son and he was doing this and that and that, you will get a much better response. Yeah. So there's an approach. Yes. There is yes. an approach, but we yes. just have to change to the method. That that approach. Right. To choose the yeah. right approach. The right approach. Yes, caller, good evening. We have another caller. Welcome. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Um, I apologize for before. My phone had the service had dropped. Okay. Now, I also am a young person in society, and I also agree with the young lady where the fact that other people cannot correct someone's child. Now, while I walk the street, I see you doing all sorts of things that they're not supposed to be doing. And the neighbor is right there, and she's watching. And just even if you want, a neighbor, 
your child, so and so and so and so. They don't even do that. They go inside, they close the door, they don't want to say nothing, and then they call it the police. Now, when you put a child in the corrective system in this time, what are you reading? What are you, what are you bringing forth? You are only bringing forth more criminals. Rather than we not beat them, not cut their tears or whatever, but find a way, a solution that we could deal with the matter, both parents, it's not only the parents, it's a parent, we also, the neighbors, the community is also a part of bringing up these children in the right way. So I, I really do think that she brings a good point and we need to find some kind of seminar to teach the parents that they alone is not a parent of the child. The community is the parent of the child. Yes, correct. Thank you very much, caller. Thank you for that. And thank you for making the effort to, to still call back. Wonderful. And you must see that in the school system all the time, yes. this conversation that's coming up. I mean, you are, you are a teacher, mm -hmm. and it's not your own child, and you have to see the child and not see the child going wrong and leave the child. How do you all confront or deal with that when you, you know, how, in terms of disciplining or getting the child? Because certainly, even though these values you are teaching are there, mm -hmm. some children may still be displaying um, negative attitudes or inappropriate behavior. behavior. How, how yeah. you treat with that? Well, you question them like how, oh, you know, this gentleman said, you question the child and say, but, you know, what are you supposed to do if this happens? Would you like someone to treat you that way? No, mm -hmm. miss, you know. Well, what can we do? And, you know, you would tell them. And the child would tell you the, the, the right thing to do, you know. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, so because we use the three HP method, the head, heart, and hand, so you tell them, you know, you think it's in your head, you send it through your heart, is it the right thing? And then your hands, yeah, is it the right, right thing, yeah. it's the wrong thing that you're going to do, you know. And you keep reminding them, and, you know, every time a situation arises, you remind them about the values, and you ask them how they can solve it. Yeah. Rather than, you know, punish them, or, you know, like, you know, we don't have a naughty corner or anything like that. You, you talk it through with them. Mm -hmm. Is that and interesting? You, once you that talk is, it through, you know, they, it, it helps more than, you know. Can you f just say one more time for me? Mm -hmm. You said you talk them through the three H's. Could you mm -hmm. tell us again what that is? The three HV, they, well, it's the head, the heart, and the hand. Wow. So first they send it through, the, you think it through. Think is it, it through. the right thing? You send it to the heart, the heart will tell you. If it's the right Does thing, it if it's the right? wrong thing, Does the hand it, will yeah. tell you whether you should do it or not. Yes, yeah. I like this. And it's practical. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's yeah. practical. We have a caller. Good evening, caller. Good night, good evening. Good night. Good evening. Good night. What happened, to, you see, with these, some of these parents? They are children too. Mm. And what are they going to teach mm. these little children? Because some of these parents are so young. And they can't teach the children nothing. So they have to get some kind of training or some kind of thing as parent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so the caller here is yes. bringing up this issue. Thank you very much, yes. caller. Of, uh, same to you, my dear. I, it's, she's bringing up the idea of empowering mm -hmm. younger parents younger because. Parents. We may not like it, etc., but the reality is that we have a lot of situations that have a lot of very young parents yeah, yeah. Um, parenting. Yeah. Um, sometimes they're almost kids in yeah, a sense. Yeah, teenagers. Yeah. But I mean, teenagers. we come from a society too where even back then there were young parents. The yeah. only difference was there were support. You yes. had a grandparent or, yes. or an older or an aunt or somebody yes. in the yeah. home the village. that would give yeah. the village. Exactly. <laughs> the village. Right. So young yeah. parenting is not something new. Yes. What it is is the absence of guidance that has gone away. I think yes. that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Would yes. you say, sir, if you say that you feel, yes. what, what do you feel from a young person's point of view? Well, I feel as though deep down inside all the wrongdoers, we know that we want someone to care for us. We want someone wow. to show them that we are an individual. Like, we, don't, we want someone to come to us in love. We don't want people to, like, you know, talk down on us, talk about us, say this is what we're doing. We want people to come to us as 
loving people. I Genuine. don't know how else to explain it. But yeah, explain it. That's yeah. extremely yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. form yeah. are you in? We oh, talked to her. Goodness. No, but I mean, I'm listening, and this is the message. Genuine yeah. love. This is mm-hmm. the message. Does she want to make you cry? Yeah, and yes. <laughs> and I, I you wanted back to tears. She immediately she, she put a spin on that right away and said, what we want is for someone to come to us in love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think every, that message is important for the whole country. Every human being is sitting there, waiting, wanting, d- desiring a communication and an interaction that comes out of love. We have a caller. Caller, good night. Good night. Good night. To the panel. Um, I am listening in and I think that um, whatever, all the contributions are valid so far. And it's a combination. Um, when you want, yes, we have young parents or young mothers or fathers. And when the older ones try to, you know, and instill some of the old values that the young persons might see is old time thing. And because too of all the technology and all the social media and so on, um, a lot of some of the young parents, the, the, the chat televisions and the social media uh, is what um, determines how the child behaves, what the child looks at and these sorts of things. Now, in some of the old time ways, uh, the earlier caller said, the neighbor could give you a licks, and then your parents could give you licks too, or your teachers could give you licks, and your parents will give you more licks. They wouldn't go to fight. They will, as, as what happens, may happen these days. But sometimes in this modern age, you find that some of, the, some of us throw away the baby with the bath water. So we need to probably a combination of both. Some of the old values, and the old values are age, ageless, and we need to mix it with, have a balance with the modern teachings and the modern ways of non-violence and so on. So I just wanted to share in that. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much for that. So we have an advocate there for a mix of some of the old yeah. values yeah. with new approaches and some of the modernity mm-hmm. and mixing the yeah. two. Gal? I made a considered effort at a certain point to change the way how I work. Because I would get up on mornings uh, by, let's say, 5.30. I'm out of the house by 6, 6.30. I'm in traffic for two hours into Port of Spain. And I leave work at 5. I don't get home until 8. If both parents are doing that, who's growing up the kids? And there are a lot of that situation going on today. So the TV is doing it. The next door neighbor or a friend is doing it. And what she is asking for, the parents who are supposed to be giving that first, it's not there. Yeah. And that's one of our biggest issues today. Yeah. I made a sacrifice and said, I'm going to change how I work. Mm-hmm. But not many parents are able to do that. They have to work. They have yeah. to support. They have to, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I have apartments, so I see how some of my tenants leave. Mm-hmm. You know, they leave so very early, mm-hmm. and they come back so very late, and they have mm-hmm. teenage children or nine, ten-year-olds, and, and they're there by themselves sometimes. Mm-hmm. And there's nobody growing them yeah. up, mm-hmm. unsupervised. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I, I don't think solving the crime or, or the non-violent or crime issue is, is just one approach. There are so many different layers that we need yeah. to, to deal with, yes. right? Yeah. And, and, but uh, from an individualistic standpoint, let's say for your own children, I would say it starts at home. Yes. There's something you have yes. to do as a parent. And that brings us to a very good uh, point, almost like a wrap-up yeah. point. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Because this message... And this platform is about non-violence begins with me. And what I hear here today from all of you, from all the messages, from the artwork certainly in the competition, and from all of you and your sharing is that it must begin, as you said, you said from my home. Well, the home is me, the home is you, the home is every one of us that, are, that is watching. We each have a responsibility. Non-violence begins with me. Continue to join us on this show. Thank you for joining us tonight. To our panel, thank you. And to our young man, Isaiah, outside, thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. And remember, nonviolence begins with me.